Tuesday 21st of April. Today I want to speak to you about the name of Jesus, Sa Shalom, Prince of Peace. Listen to this. Who hasn't longed for peace? Living in a world that is so often full of strife. The Hebrew word for peace, however, means much more than the absence of conflict or the end of turmoil. Shalom conveys not only a sense of tranquility, but also of wholeness and completion. To enjoy shalom is to enjoy health, satisfaction, success, safety, well-being and prosperity. Though the New Testament does not directly call Jesus the Prince of Peace, this title from Isaiah has traditionally been associated with him as the one who brings peace to the world. Furthermore, Paul assured the Ephesian Christians saying of Jesus, He himself is our peace. When you pray to Sa Shalom, you are praying to the one who is the source of all peace. To live in peace is to live in his presence. Again, it's a title associated with the birth of Christ, the prophecy of the birth of Christ. When we read in Isaiah chapter 9, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light, on those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on forever. When I was looking into this, I came across this example. In my church, it is customary midway through the service to turn to your neighbour and offer a sign of peace. Usually a handshake and the greeting, peace be with you. One Sunday morning, a lively little girl altered the formula slightly. With pigtails bobbing and pink cheeks shining, she grabbed my hand, intoning loudly, and sincerely, peace and quiet be with you. As the mother of two small children, I couldn't help but find her greeting attractive, expressing as it does the wish of every parent. Even more so in lockdown, I'm sure. But there are so many promises associated with the name Prince of Peace with the idea of how it is Jesus brings us peace. Listen to these. Isaiah 26. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Trust is linked to peace. Isaiah 48. This is what the Lord says, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you in the way you should go. If only you had paid attention to my commands, your peace would have been like a river, your righteousness like the waves of the sea. Obedience is linked to peace. Romans chapter 8. Those who live according to the sinful nature have their minds set on what that nature desires.
but those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their mind set on what the Spirit desires. The mind controlled by the sinful nature is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. Surrender is linked to peace. And Philippians chapter 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Contentment and thanksgiving are linked to peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. I don't want in any way to suggest that once you become a Christian you're never anxious, that no Christian should ever be depressed, that no Christian will ever suffer from issues of mental health. Even before the coronavirus outbreak, mental health was an issue that was spread throughout all layers of society, no matter where you were born, no matter what your job, no matter whether you were Christian or not, it can affect us all. But as we look at the name of Jesus, we just begin to understand that true peace, the source of peace, is in resting in who he is, is an understanding that it is to him we take our anxieties, it is to him we give thanks. It is to him we bring obedience and surrender. And it is in him we find the heart of peace. When you pray to Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace, he's there with you, walking through Whatever it is that you are going through, whatever it is that is distracting you, whatever it is that is disturbing you. And he offers you peace. Not always to take the issue away, not always to take the problem away, but to find peace in his presence as you do battle as you fight distraction, as you fight fears and anxiety, the Prince of Peace surrounds you. I leave you as I did yesterday with some questions for you to contemplate. What does the word peace mean to you? And how does this differ, differ from the biblical idea of Shalom. Why is the Prince of Peace a fitting title for Jesus? Can you think of stories in his life that display his peace? And lastly, ask yourself whether you are experiencing Christ's peace in your life. How can you participate more deeply in his peace. I pray you find Sa Shalom today, the Prince of Peace, not just today, but for always. See you tomorrow. Bye.